enjoying my last moments of freedom. Oh my god, you literally have got so much hair. Yeah. Do I look like a convict yet? Yeah. <laughs> so go on then, tell me what you're going to do. I am going to let lovely Sophie from Robinson's Hair and Beauty. She is going to shave all of my hair off in a minute. Getting a little bit nervous now. It's for Cancer Campaign in Suffolk. And so far I have raised £1,770-ish, which is going to be doubled by Base Points parent company, the App Foundation. So I'm aiming to get that up to two grand in the hope that the charity will get four grand, which would be really, really good. Um, and Cancer Campaign in Suffolk are going to use that to provide holistic treatments for cancer patients and provide support for cancer patients throughout Suffolk. Have you ever done anyone with this much hair, Sophie? You shaved it off. <laughs> Thank you all very much for joining me. I know you've all sponsored me so that you can be here today and I really, really appreciate what everybody's done. Sorry, I can't shout very loudly. Um, so far, I've raised over £1,800. And Base Point's parent company, the App Foundation, is going to match fund that. So I'm hoping by the time lots of people have seen the pictures on Facebook and Twitter today, it will reach two grand. And I'm hoping that if we reach the two grand, obviously that means four grand for the charity. So that's my ultimate aim now. So thank you all very, very much for what you've done and your support. Um, I'm just going to do one last money-making activity, because it wouldn't be fair not to. We're going to put my hair in a ponytail, and the highest bidder in this room can actually chop my ponytail off. So those of you that <laughs> I know there's lots of you in here that would love to chop my hair off. It's Louise and Josh Rawls. <laughs> Big round of applause for Louise. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my god, I feel super scared. Oh, you look so worried. <laughs> I don't know what I'm worried about being bald or letting Louise with a pair of scissors on my <laughs> Yeah? Lovely. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go Louise. Oh my god, you literally have got so much hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm no longer gonna say, oh I could do that. <laughs> She gave me a lovely fringe. Doesn't <laughs> pretty cool with the half shade. I do feel so much cooler. It's lovely. 
being cut down on his shower time. I'll tell you what, my, con my conditioner, Rob can use it as much as he wants now. <laughs> I'm like, don't leave off my posh conditioner. Is it ginger at the roots? <laughs> It's just grey. Oh, that's quite grey. Look at those roots. Is it all gone? It's worth it. For four grand, it's worth it. You've got all hair all over you. Have I got a weird shaped head or anything like that? You didn't drop me. I'm glad to hear it. quite strange when everybody went really really quiet um because I don't know I don't know why they went so quiet and that made that made me nervous I was like why is everyone so quiet um but after after the deed was done I actually felt a lot better than I thought I would I don't, I don't know how I thought I'd feel but I, I do feel very positive still I'm very pleased and my fundraising targets gone up massively um so I'm now over the two thousand pounds mark um, which is obviously going to be double, so we're now over the £4,000 mark, which is brilliant. Um, and there's lots of posting on Twitter and Facebook and lots of photos of my lovely egghead. Um, but yeah, it does feel, it feels a bit drafty. When I went out at lunchtime, it's quite strange not having a nice warm head of hair. Um, I think I was quite shocked by how much hair I actually had. Uh, it's a bit of a shock when you just see it laying on the floor in front of you. But no, I feel good. I still feel very good. Someone walked past my office and looked at me earlier and I kind of thought, what are they looking at? And then I realised that I look quite different. So it'll be quite interesting, I think, when I go to the shops, who recognises me and who doesn't. I'm thinking I might go a bit more fun. I'm thinking more scarves, headbands. Oh yeah, one of, one of those nice pink headbands with a little flower on, like well, I have for babies. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm thinking I'll try and be quite funky and... And Leanne, the assistant manager here, has already bought me some lovely sparkly headbands. So I'm hoping I can jazz it up a bit and be a bit different, a bit quirky. If someone said to me, you know, in, I don't know, it's going to take about five years to grow this all back. But if somebody said to me again, would you do it again to raise £4,000 for, for cancer campaign stuff? I'd be like, yep, yeah, no problem. I mean, what an easy way. I know lots of people think, oh, it's a massive thing. And yeah, my hair is a massive thing for me. But you know what? It'll grow back. It's all good. Marvellous, thank you very much. Thank you.